hi and welcome to another instrument choice support video. In this video we'll show you how to take a CO2 level measurement using the IC80046 indoor air quality meter. Start by pressing the set button to turn the device on. The meter performs a 30 second countdown. Then the unit will display the current carbon dioxide, temperature and humidity readings. From here, you can immediately take a CO2 level reading. Unless you're after short-term exposure or time-weighted average limits, then you'll need to wait at least five minutes. Before taking a reading, we will adjust our threshold alarm. To set the audible CO2 alarm, on this meter, press set for one second or longer. AL and P1 will appear on the screen. Press the min max average button to enter alarm threshold setting and the current setting will blink on the screen. In this case it's 1000 parts per million. Press mode to adjust the value up and DPWBT to adjust the values down. Once selected press the min max average button again to save the setting and cal slash escape to exit setup mode. Now that the alarm is set, it's time to take some spot measurements around the instrument choice offices. This is a very general chart of CO2 levels and what to expect. We are looking for levels well under the 1000 parts per million throughout our offices. First, the office. In the office under the lights, we seem to be sitting around 430 parts per million. In the boardroom, we drop from the office level of 430 parts per million to a stable level of 380 parts per million. The last place that we'll take a measurement is a small storage cupboard with no ventilation. The CO2 levels rise, then stabilise around 650 parts per million. Blowing gently into the sensor demonstrates the alarm, 1000 parts per million has been exceeded. The alarm continues until the unit is turned off or the CO2 drops back below the threshold. And that's how to use the IC80046 indoor air quality meter to perform CO2 checks and ensure you are breathing safe air. For an article on air quality and its impacts, see the link in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.